as I promised you guys, I told you I'll show you how to enable the touchpad gestures. That is after I managed to successfully fix my touchpad. As you can see, I'm using my touchpad, it's working. And also, as you can see, the touch is working. That means my touchpad settings are enabled. And now I can use them successfully. As you can see, here you go. You can see the scroll and zoom. Everything else is working as it should. So guys, uh, at first I thought uh, I need a text, but literally I, you don't. I thought maybe you need to do some patches, some extreme things, but you don't. So for me, guys, uh, I'll not go into details about uh, what I did. I'll just go directly to the fix on, so as not to make this video long. Uh, the reason why I got this working is just by enabling the battery indicator. As you can see, my battery indicator is working, but before it was not. So I was re reading through some Reddit uh, file uh, or some Reddit research. Then I found out that uh, by enabling the battery, it fixes the touchpad uh, gestures. So uh, as you guys know, I was wondering before, why is it that my touchpad is working, but I could not get the, the gestures. And also the funny thing is that uh, by default, this tap with one finger is disabled. So that means you'll have to click down for you to tap or tap with the uh, three fingers all those gestures were enabled but by default uh, the tap to click that is the tap ones was disabled so what i just did is this i'll show you what i did let me close this then go to my esp mounter pro then click on mount disk then open volume now, once you open the volume, just give it a minute to open. There you go. In your EFI folder, OC, SCPI, this is what I was missing, the dsdt.aml. So I had the SSDT uh, battery.aml file, but I was wondering why is it not working. Then I went to my downloads. I think I have a, a file containing the DSDT, here it is, this is the file, I went to Openco, EFI, OC, under SCPI you can see the DSDT.ml, so I just copied this file, I copied this file, Then I went to my EFI under the OC folder, SCPI, then pasted it in. Once after pasting it, just reboot your machine. The battery indicator will pick. After the battery indicator picking, it will automatically fix the touchpad gesture. So that was it for this tutorial, guys. As you can see, let me show you. It shows the battery percentage. So I'll go to my system preference. And uh, as you can now see, the battery is showing here. If you are keen with the other videos, the previous videos, the battery indicator was not here. Even the battery uh, preference was not here. So under accessibility, under accessibility, look for battery. If you can't see battery, search for battery. Sorry, I've misspelled that battery. Show battery percentage. So, uh, that will open. Actually, I went to the wrong place. It's under the dock and menu bar, not accessibility. Then if you click show percentage, as you can see, it's displaying the percentage. I can also show it in control center so that when I click the control center here, you can see the battery percentage here. So that was it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a quick fix. Please do not go around the hassle of downloading the trackpad, uh, the trackpad pen or all those other settings. Just enable your battery indicator by looking for your DSDT file. 
you can create the DSDT file or you can download it online from an EFI that is similar to your host machine. For mine, I'm using Lenovo X260. So if you want the DSDT for that file, you can let me know and I'll be linking it in my description and I'll be also posting it in my Telegram channel for you guys to get it. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Signing out.